Dear friends, welcome to Smart Money YouTube channel. Here we are with one more IPO video as the market has announced one more IPO. This time we are having the IPO of Computer Age Management Services Limited, which is also known as CAMS. In this video, we'll discuss all you need to know about CAMS IPO. Before that, we are quickly going to discuss about the bumper listing of Happiest Mind Technologies Limited IPO, which was listed today, that is 17th of September 2020. So today, Happiest Mind Technologies got listed in the share market. The issue price of the IPO was 166 rupees per share, and minimum allotment one lot was 90 shares, and minimum investment was rupees 14,940. And today, the share got listed at a price of 351 per share, and today's high of the day was 394 per share so the return on investment was between 111 to 139 percent in just 10 days those who got allotment of happiest mind technologies would be smiling today but most of the retail investors who applied for the ipo did not get allocation due to oversubscription those who did not get allotment of happiest mind technologies ipo should not get disappointed because we have camps ipo which will be open for subscription from 21st of september before going ahead with the video, we would like to request you all to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the bell notification so that whenever we upload a video, you get a notification in your smartphone. And do not forget to like the video. So about the business of the company, CAMS is a technology-driven financial infrastructure and service provider to mutual funds and other financial institutions and they have over two decades of experience it is india's largest registrar and transfer agent of mutual fund so what is the role of registrar and transfer agent of mutual fund registrar and transfer agent is an institution that register and maintain detailed record of transaction of the investor for convenience of mutual fund houses this includes buying selling switching of funds and various other services according to crystal report in november 2019 it has an aggregate market share of 69.4 their mutual fund clients include four of the five largest mutual funds as well as nine of the 15 largest mutual funds in India. The size of mutual fund RTA, registrar and transfer agent business was approximately 8.6 billion in the financial year 2019. The industry is estimated to have grown at a CAGR, that is compounded annual growth rate of 20% in the last four years. You can see here the services they provide for investors, for distributors, and for businesses. For investors, they provide hassle-free experience to invest, redeem, or start an SIP. Then they provide mutual fund statements like portfolio valuation statements, realized gain statements. They provide mutual fund service requests like change of bank mandate, update PAN number, etc. And they also provide service center email and phone support. These are the services they provide for investors and for distributors and businesses. They provide a host of services such as onboarding investors, transact in mutual funds, manage business operation, distributor mailback service, service request form, channel partners, and various other services to mutual fund houses, bank, NBFCs, and insurance companies. About the company, Computer Age Management Services Limited is a company incorporated under the Companies Act 1956, having its registered office in Chennai. The promoter of the company is Great Terran Investment. Great Terran Investment is an affiliate of Warbuck Pincus, a New York based equity firm. Great Terran is having 43.53% share in the company. Then we have NSC, National Stock Exchange of India Limited who is also having a 37.5% stake in the company. Then we have HDFC, HDFC Bank and HDB Trust having approximately 12% stake in the company. So we can see that company is a professionally managed company. They are not owned by individual promoters, but owned by equity firm and corporates. Now let's have a look at their financial summary. Company had a total income of 502 crores in the financial year 2017 that has increased to 661 crores in the financial year 2018 and in the financial year 2019 they have a total income of 711 crores here the figures are written in million so we can see the revenue of the company consistently increasing on a year-on-year -year basis and we can see they have a profit of 130 crores in the financial year 2019 this information is as per the red herring prospectus which they have filed some time ago 
Also, just want to give you a quick information about their income in the financial year 2020. They had a total income of 721 crores and a profit of 170 crores. And in the first quarter of this financial year, they have a total income of 163 crores and a profit of 40 crores. That is until 30th June 2020. The company also have a total liability of 295 crores compared to a total asset of 736 crores as of 31st March 2019. And the net asset value of the company per share is 547.89 rupees. So this is briefly about the financial summary of the company. Now let's come to the most important slide that is the IPO details. IPO is open for subscription from 21st of September 2020 to 23rd of September 2020. The issue size is 2244.33 crores. So this is a much bigger issue compared to what we have seen in the last two three ipos and the object of the issue is offer for sale there is no fresh issue the entire issue is offer for sale that is the existing shareholder are selling their shares the offer price is 1229 in the lower band and 1230 in the upper band minimum application is 12 shares and maximum application for retail subscription is 2 lakhs as we know so you can apply a maximum of 13 lots the face value of the share is rupees 10 and the share is going to be listed in both bsc and nsc and some important dates the offer opens on 21st of september offer closes on 23rd of september finalization of basis of allotment will be on 28th of september initiation of refunds for those who will not get their allocation they will get their refund on 29th of September. Credit of share to DMAT account will happen on 30th of September. The IPO will be tentatively listed on 1st of October. One important thing to remember here is that issue size is much bigger and the offer price of the share is on the higher side. However, the IPO market is currently a hot market and I believe this issue will also get oversubscribed. So it is better to wait until the third day, see the response of the people to this IPO and then apply. We have done a detailed video on how to apply and the factors affecting the listing price. If you have not watched that video, you can watch it by clicking the i button. In this slide, we can see that household saving in India has been consistently growing and when there is more savings, that leads to people investing in various assets such as mutual funds. And here we can see the growth of AUM of mutual funds from the year 2000. When we look at the mutual fund industry, we look at the AUM which is asset under management. So from the year 2000 till 2019, we have seen exponential growth of mutual fund industry. A lot of people are investing in the capital market through mutual fund route. So with growth of mutual fund, so we can say that the company camps has a bright future. Now let's have a look at the strength of the company and their business strategies. CAMS is the largest infrastructure and service provider as a mutual fund registrar and transfer agent. They have an integrated business model and long-standing client relationship. They have scalable technology and enabled ecosystem. They have a strong focus on process and risk management and they have an experienced management and board with murky shareholders. As we have already mentioned, the company is a professionally run company with equity firm and corporate as their promoters. And the business strategies of the company is to maintain their leadership position by enhancing service offerings, continue the technology-led service innovation, achieve leadership in individual business and then target sale, improve automation in their business. So these are some of the business strategies they are going to adopt to further expand their business. So in this video, we have discussed all you need to know about Computer Ace Management Services IPO. This is a very good company to invest. However, their offer price looks on the higher side. In this video, we have briefly tried to analyze the company, their performance and about the IPO. I hope you have liked this video. Kindly share the video and we would like to thank you for watching this video.